Diversity. Growing up in California exposed me to cultures from all around the world. Some from Mexico, some from England, some from Spain, Honduras, Japan, everywhere. It's fun guessing where you think someone's from until you get it wrong. Let's see, what if I'm not the one who's wrong? That is where DNA genealogy tests come in. These tests allow us to send in small samples of saliva into a lab and in return we get a full breakdown of our DNA background, pretty much what we are. And growing up, you know, you're told, oh, you're this, you're that from the grandparents or from the aunts. They think they're this or they know we're that. But do we really know what we are? I have an ancestry DNA test right here in front of me. It's been a long time coming. I've been wanting to do this forever. Uh, it's finally more affordable to take. These aren't cheap. So we're going to crack this open, fill up the tube, send it off, and uh, get the results. So let's jump right into it. Here it is. Let's crack this bad boy open. All right, this is going to take a minute. Let's see what's inside. Welcome to Ancestry DNA. We have bag, all right. The spit tube, okay. The return box, and that looks like it. That's it, okay. So now I think we need to go on my phone and activate this. Yep, okay, let's do that. Activate kit. It's activated. Now I gotta open up this guy. Fill the tube with saliva to black wavy line. Uh, replace the funnel with the new cap. Okay, so without showing you guys the spit, I'm gonna take this off and we are gonna place this new one on here. Tighten the release stabilizing fluid. So I need to continue tightening this until Okay, it's in there. You guys don't have to see the spit. Shake the tube for at least five seconds. This will ensure your sample mixes thoroughly with a stabilizing solution so our lab can best process your sample. Now, place the tube in the collection bag. I guess that'll be this guy. All right, tube is in. Show that in there. Remove this, bam, done deal. There is my sample. That's it. That wasn't too bad, it only took 15 minutes to spit in that tube. Now we send it off. All right, six to eight weeks according to this. I'm gonna guess three weeks from my special insider who's done this before. Did I say three weeks? Uh, I meant three months, but it'll be a flash for you guys. The wait is finally over. This past weekend, I received the email from Ancestry.com and the subject is your ancestry dna results are in so i'm a little nervous this is it i'm finally gonna find out what i am so without further ado let's just jump right into it it's the moment you've been waiting for your ancestry dna results are ready now it's time to discover what it is about your DNA that makes you uniquely you. Forty percent Indigenous Americas slash Mexico, thirty-seven percent Spain, fourteen other regions. Discover your DNA story. Wow. So right off the bat, it says 40% Mexico, primarily located in Mexico. Your ethnicity estimate 
is 40%, but it can range from 33 to 40. So that, I figured that one makes sense. Yeah, growing up here in South California, it makes sense that um, give or take 40% Mexican. I have family that's from Mexico, born and raised in Mexico. And uh, yeah, that one makes sense for sure. Southern Zacatecas. I don't really know what that is. I guess here on the map in that general region. All right. Fourth Cousins. That's a lot. That's really cool. And then we also have Chihuahua, Durango. Let's check that out. Chihuahua and Durango. Okay, so that would be the more top end of Mexico reaching into Texas and New Mexico looks like. I have a first cousin. Oh, there's my aunt, my grandfather's sister, Helen. There she is. And then I have a third cousin. I'm not exactly sure who that is. They don't look familiar, but they're predicted my third or fourth cousin, which is interesting. So 40% indigenous Americas, with that being said, primarily in Mexico. And then we have 37% from Spain. So yeah, I get that from my mother's side primarily, from what I'm told. So yeah, that's pretty accurate. I was told that I am Spanish, didn't know how much, but 37%, that's interesting. And then we have 4% Ireland and Scotland. Primary located in Ireland, Isle of Man, Northern Ireland and Scotland. It can range anywhere between zero and 4%. Ancestry predicts that I'm 4%. It's interesting. And then France, wow, I'm French apparently. Estimated 3% French. Not much, but who would have thought? And then just below we have Portugal, 3% uh, Portuguese. Yeah, I thought that one would be a little higher. We were told that we have some Portuguese. I guess it's accurate, we do have some, 3%. It can range from zero to 11%. So that one was uh, pretty interesting. So far, the two that stand out, I mean, it's not much, but the two that stand out that I was never told, you know, that I can be a part of this was France and Ireland and Scotland. I've never once heard from my family that we're any bit French or Irish. I mean, it's very, very minuscule, but it's there. There's more Spain. Northern Africa, interesting. Primarily located in Algeria, Libya, Morocco. That's interesting. So, and then we're jumping down to the one percenters. Greek, Italian. So all you people that keep asking me, am I Italian or are you Italian? Because of my last name and my resemblance, I guess. I'm one percent Italian, so not really. No, I'm not Italian. <laughs> Sweden, Senegal, Sardinia. Where's Sardinia? Can we blow this map up? Sardinia. It's interesting. Looks like uh, an island. Interesting, that's cool. Nigeria, 1% Nigerian. All right, all right. I think I'm gonna use that to my advantage in the future. 1% Nigerian. Was not expecting that at all. Zero to 2% is where it can range from. Middle East, 1%. Interesting. Congo. European Jewish, 1%. I'm Jewish? Primarily in Poland. Belarus, Ukraine, Russia, Hungary, and Israel, or Hungary, however you pronounce it. Wow, 
1%, not much, definitely not much, but it's there. The big hitters. 40% indigenous to America, primarily Mexico. 37% Spanish. And then four, which is, you know, a significant amount. It's not much, but it's more than one. Uh, Irish and Scottish. 3% French. 3% Portuguese, 2% another Spanish descent, 2% North African, which was Algeria, Libya, Morocco, and Tunisia. And, and then we're getting in the one percent in there. So wow, that was interesting. Very interesting. I would have never thought. Growing up, I'm told you're Spanish or you're part German or you got a little bit of Portuguese. But German is debunked. I'm pretty much not German at all. If anything, I'm primarily um, Mexican, Spanish, primarily Mexican and Spanish, with some Irish, Scottish, French, and Portuguese descent. Not much, but it's there. But wow, this was this was very interesting. I'm really happy I did this. Um, next is my sister. For all of you that don't know, um, my younger older sister, I have two sisters that are younger than me, but the oldest one, Elena, we share the same mother, but we have different fathers, so she has to do one of these. I'm curious, Elena, what our differences are. As far as my brother and my other sister, it should be pretty close, but you know, nothing is exactly the same. And then my father, my father is going to be doing one of these as well. Um, so that video should be coming within the next month or two, so look forward to that one, seeing what our similarities are. But this was awesome. This was pretty cool to find out. It was only $50. It was 50% uh, off on Black Friday back in November. So this was exciting. Thanks for watching. If you'd enjoy this, go ahead and give me a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you're feeling generous. Uh, check out my other videos. I have videos on sneakers. I have weekly vlogs. So go ahead and check that out. But once again, thanks for watching. You guys have a good one.